Hi, it's Shannon back from houseimprovements.com and uh, today we're going to do a video again and this one is about uh, assembling big box store cabinets. We're going to do a base cabinet. Uh, this is a 30 inch cabinet and it's going to have a total of four drawers in it. So you can see by the mound of packaging I have here, this is all the different components we need to build this one cabinet. You go down to the store there and they've got it all separately boxed up so it's, it's ready to go. You just got to be sure you get everything you need. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way and then we're going to get going. Okay, so we got the uh, main box uh, part of the cabinet all out of its packaging. Uh, what you're basically going to find in there is you're going to have the instructions which generally aren't real good. There's uh, some words in there usually in a different language so that nobody can understand. Uh, they do have a few pictures though to get you pointed in the right direction but it can be a little confusing. That's why we're doing the video. You're going to find a bag of hardware. Uh, I'd like to keep a couple little dishes here on the workbench to put all that stuff in so I don't lose it. And uh, we're going to have a top and bottom cleat. You're going to see how all this stuff goes together once we get going. Uh, sorry, th those aren't top and bottom cleats, those are the top cleats. Uh, we've got two gables right and left gable and they're going to be the pieces that have all the bazillion holes in them. Okay, so we have a right and a left and then we've got our actual bottom of the cabinet and it's it's going to be, uh, depending on the size of your cabinet obviously, it's big or small, but it's going to have some larger holes on one side of it. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side. Oh, you're also going to find the back in there. There's the Okay, we're going to set a couple of those things out of the way for right now. Uh, I don't know if you've watched it already, but we have done a video as well on uh, assembling the wall cabinet from a big box store. So, uh, you know, some of this might be repetitive from what you've already watched, but uh, what we're going to start out with is there, you're going to find a whole bunch of these wooden dowels in that bag of goodies you found, okay? And then on the uh, right and left gable, that's the sides of the cabinet, you're going to find a series of larger holes. You're going to see a whole bunch of small ones, but you're going to see this series of larger holes across the top and bottom. Uh, we need to determine which is right, which is left. So if you look at the, at the gables themselves, you're going to see, you know, we're finished on both sides, we're finished on an edge and we're not finished on the other edge. This is the back where you can see the rough wood there. Okay, it doesn't match the rest of the gable. So, okay, so that, if you're looking at it and I'm standing behind the cabinet, I line both of these up. Okay, so there's our two sides. I'm gonna lay them down on the table, orientated so that I know which is which. So I'm gonna lay this one down. This one will be the right side of the cabinet. And this one will be the left side, and I've got the two faces facing each other. The reason we need to know that is because on this cabinet, there's a solid bottom in it. So I need all four of these holes to have dowels. But on the top, there's just these narrow uh, spacers. So I need to only have one of the wooden dowels at the front and one at the back on each. Right? So if you... Excuse me, so on the top of that you don't need dowels in there, in, the, in those middle two holes for this particular one. So what I'm going to do is put these in, simply just get it lined up with the hole, give it a tap with the hammer until you can kind of tell that it bottomed out. Do that on all of them. So again, at the top I just need those two outer ones. Across the bottom I need four. And you'll just continue and do the same thing for the, the uh, right side gable. Okay, so we've got all the wooden dowels in. Now you're also going to find in that bag of goodies, you had some of these metal screw-in kind of dowel looking pieces. Okay, uh, now with these, basically they're in, in line with the uh, dowels, the wood dowels we put in, you're going to find another smaller hole that's offset from all your other adjustable holes. These, these, all these holes that are in series are for adjustable shelving inside if you have that option. Okay, so these 
little screw in dowels are going to go in the very outside extreme corners and uh, they're threaded on one end so you just simply line it up with that smaller hole get it lined up and just snug it in there's a there's kind of a base on there that it's going to snug up against the wood so that you can't overturn it just you don't have to give it a lot of pressure though anyways or you'll strip it out So we're going to stick all these in, and then we can get ready to assemble. Okay, so we've got the wood dowels in, we've got the, the metal screw-in dowels in. Uh, next thing we need to do is we're going to bring up the bottom panel, and you'll find that in the end of it, it's got some corresponding holes that will line up with all those dowels that you put in on the edges or on the ends and then you'll find on the very bottom of it it's got some larger holes now for these holes or for these cam locks the cam locks when you get all these pieces put together tighten up onto the threaded in uh, metal dowels that you that you put in and uh, again if you watched the other video you've seen me explain this before this cam lock uh, doohickey it's got a little arrow on it. The arrow faces out to the edge of the panel where the dowel would be going in, so it's facing out to the hole. You just line that arrow up with that, push it in the hole, like so. And as well, on this cabinet here, it's got the same kind of setup. Uh, sorry, on these cleats here. These cleats, this goes along the top and it holds the gables apart. So there's a front cleat at the top and a back cleat at the top. And they're just a narrower strip. They're just saving a bit of cost, a bit of weight uh, to the cabinet. So same thing, you're going to find some larger holes on one side of it that uh, just get these inserted in the same way. Like so. Okay. Now, here it is. Because this unit, uh, this unit's going to have four drawers all together. In the very top, there's two drawers side by side, and then below that, there's a center drawer and a bottom drawer. Because of that, we need a divider panel. You know, and this is going to vary depending what's going on if you've got doors on it or not. This one just happens to have all drawers. So you need this other package that has these dividers in it. So we've got some garbage and we've got recycling. And it also has instructions that are just about useless. Um, so we've got the divider. This is all going to make more sense once I start putting it together. But uh, we've got that. We've got our bottom piece. So I'm going to start by uh, sticking the bottom of the cabinet onto one of the gable ends. So we're looking for the front edge of the bottom, which will be the nice finished edge again. We want to match it up so it's lined up with the bottom or with the front, sorry, of the uh, gable. Line all those holes up that all your dowels were in. Push it all down in there. We'll take a screwdriver. You're not going to be able to see it from the side I'm working on, but you're basically going to take a screwdriver, put it in that cam lock, give it about a half a turn, and that will, you'll, you'll feel that tighten down on those metal, cam, uh, metal uh, dowels you put in there. Just like so. Okay, so that's the bottom panel. Just about not enough room to do all this. Now, oops. we are going to take this piece here, which is the top front cleat. And it works just like the other one did. It's going to slide onto the dowel system that you put in there already, just like so. 
tighten up that cam and this is the back the rear uh, cleat here we're gonna get that all in there like that Okay, so we have those in there. This divider piece, it's kind of hard for you to tell because I've got the cabinet laying on its side. So this is our bottom, right? I've got this cabinet is laying on its left hand side. This divider piece here needs to get mounted in here because we actually have a, a small drawer on each side before the bigger drawers on the bottom. And it also has a metal support that helps hold it up. So you can see why people get a little confused putting this all together because if, if you're missing any of the pieces or any of the steps, you know, you, uh, you're kind of taking things apart and going backwards. So I'm just going to get all this stuff opened up and then we'll come back. So I've got all the packages opened up now. Uh, so we've got a support piece that's going to go here. This piece is going to end up being in there like that. So we want to come up 18 holes from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 holes, that's where that goes. It comes with its own special screws. I guess I lied, I didn't quite have everything open up. So we're just going to stick this in here. It just comes with a little screw that threads right into the pre-drilled hole. Basically all these steps we're just going to completely do them again when we put the other gable on here. Okay, so I got that. In the package of screws that came with this large divider, you're going to find a couple big fat screws, and they even send a special little wrench to put them in there. So you notice there's some holes on the side of this thing, some here, some in the center. These holes at the extreme edge, that's the front edge. It's, it'll be the same on both sides. So we're going to uh, put that in there, like this. There's a hole in this edge that lines up with a large hole here. So we're just going to get it finger started there. And there, and then we're going to use their fancy little wrench just to snug that all up. They're, uh, one thing I can say for these types of cabinets is uh, everything's machined very well. I mean, it's basically a computer that spits this stuff out and everything lines up, everything works. That's usually not a hassle. Okay, so we've got all the, the main pieces here. I, they don't really have anything that attaches this. Basically, when this is standing up, this is just resting across that metal bar. So, Okay, so we've got that. Now, the tricky part is laying this other gable right on top of all this and getting all the holes and pins to line up, all the dowels to line up. But that's what we've got to do. So we'll see how we make out. The metal ones are just slightly longer, so you can usually get them lined up a little bit easier. Just like so. Okay, so uh, remember, do your cam locks like that. So we've got four of those, and we've got a small screw over here to put in here. And again, we're at the 18th hole. Basically, this should line right up with it right now. And it does. like that. OK, 
Okay. So we've got the main box just about complete. Got all our various parts in there. I'm going to lay it on its face, which remember is the side that's got the finished edge. So we're going to lay it right down like that. And uh, I'm going to get the back ready from uh, where I set it and we'll show you how to put the back on. Okay, so I've got the bottom, or the, sorry, the back. And uh, you can see one side's kind of wood grain looking. The other side's just plain, so obviously wood grain in. These holes here are used, can be used for mounting. We're going to put those holes up. That's the way they should be. We're going to lay the back right in the groove. The, there's a dado all the way around this cabinet that this fits into so that it's flush again. And uh, we're just going to lay it there for a minute. Uh, anytime you want to check if something's sitting square, you know, because we can rack this box one way or the other, so it might not be actually square. But if you measure diagonally, from corner to corner, the two measurements should be the same if you're sitting square. And uh, we've got about 42 and 3 quarters there, 42 and 9 sixteenths here. So we're a little bit longer this direction. So I'm going to squeeze that direction a little bit. And it doesn't take a lot. Yeah, so we're about 42 and 5 eighths. 42 and 5 eighths, so that's square right there. So now they, they send a bunch of little nails in the package to nail this back on with, and uh, you just got to remember to stay near the edges when you're nailing it. Nail about every four to six inches. They, they usually send you lots of nails. So you're going to go around, nail off the perimeter, and uh, the, once the back's on, that gives it some rigidity to the, to the whole cabinet, gives a little bit of strength. And uh, so I'm going to nail that all on there. We'll get it standing up out of the way. And uh, then we're going to show you how to assemble the drawers. All right. So I have flipped the cabinet back up so you can kind of see it orientated the right direction now. So obviously we've got the two drawers here. We're going to have a long drawer here and a long drawer there. Okay. So that's that part. I've opened up one of the drawer assembly boxes. We've got all kinds of pieces again. So to start out with, these are the two sides of the drawer. You're looking at the back end right now. And this is the actual back of the, the back panel. Now this all clicks in here. That's wrong in here like this. So get it orientated right. Uh, this is going to go in just like this. It just snaps together just like so. And the other side snaps on there as well. Okay, so we, something isn't quite lining up. There we go. Okay, so that's your main, your main box. Comes with the bottom all pre-cut, ready to go. Um, this piece here, if you stand these up, this piece has a slot in the bottom, and there's some little uh, tabs on this hardware. And this all just slides right in there. Once you get it lined up. Okay, so that just all slides in just like so, nice and tight, just like that. Okay, we've got that part. Uh, I've also opened up the box that has the fronts in it. So here's the drawer front itself. I'm just going to grab a piece of cardboard. I just want to lay some cardboard on so that I don't scratch the face of the drawer. You're going to see on the drawer, it's pre-drilled on the back side. These holes will be drilled uh, towards the offset to the bottom edge. Okay, so lay that face down. The package of hardware that came with the drawer, you need to open that up. 
and you're going to find two little doohickeys that look like this. These get mounted right onto this uh, paneling, and you can see that there's some writing on it. The writing would face outwards. They look pretty universal. They probably would work either way, but I usually put the writing out. And there's uh, eight screws altogether in this box. You're going to find four that have a large head on them. We just need to simply line that up and screw those in. Just like that. We'll do the other side. The drill would definitely speed that up. But I'm not going to stop to just set that up, so we'll just continue on. Okay, so we've got the uh, hardware mounted on the drawer front. Now we can pop the drawer front onto the drawer. And again, it's this is pretty simple setup. There's uh, those pieces we just put on there. Slide right into. There's a little kind of a bracket right there. And they just pop right in there. Okay, so I'm going to set the drawer up on its back. So it'll kind of stay there. Remember to orientate it properly. This is the bottom, so we want to put those uh, brackets the right way. Just a little pop like that, and the drawer's on there. Now those brackets we put on they're now accessible through this side hole, and in there there's a little uh, grommet that you can turn to adjust the height of this drawer. But uh, we won't worry about it just yet. We uh, can do the final adjustment. I usually don't do final adjustment until the cabinets are all mounted in the house. But there's an adjustment here and an adjustment back here as well to adjust how that drawer front is actually orientated. Okay, so we've got that part done, just like so. Now this, these pieces here are the, uh, the hardware that the drawer actually slides on. So they've, they're actually rolling slides with a self-closing mechanism. Once they get closed so far, it grabs a hold and just closes the drawer right up. So we need to uh, mount these inside the cabinet. There's a right and a left. Um, so looking at the cabinet, this would be the left-hand drawer slide. This part here goes against the gable, and it's all pre-drilled to line up with the screw holes that they have in there. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the screws, which obviously came with it. And I'm going to get right up on the table so I can get to the cabinet box here. And... Uh, So this is going to get mounted in here like this, just like so. And we just need to line up the uh, top hole, top front hole. Start a screw in there, like that. And there's a corresponding one at the back here. I'm just going to move that mechanism out of the way. I'm just kind of starting them in, I'll, I'll actually ins completely install them with the screw gun, with the drill. Same thing on this side. Uh, the instructions tell you which hole to line up with. It's the fourth hole down. So I don't think you're going to be able to see this side very well. It'd be the same as if I was doing it over here. You can see there's four screws, or four holes. I'm in the fourth hole down from the top and in the front top hole on the bracket. If we can get this started without it falling out of there. Okay, so same thing at the back edge. I'm going to slide this out out of the way. I want the fourth hole down. Okay. 
So I've got those started. I'm just going to switch over to a drill just to speed it up and tighten these back, these bad boys up. Okay, just like that. Now, uh, the hardware itself is actually quite easy to uh, get everything assembled as well. We've got those slides in there. We're just going to pull them out. There's, you can see there's some uh, grooves and stuff on the bottom here. We're going to set the drawer in on all this. in there. I'm used to doing this standing in front of it. Get everything to drop into place here. Might have to push those in. There. Just a matter of getting it in the right combination. So uh, slide the slides in and uh, set the drawer in on top of it and just give a little bit of wiggle. Everything kind of just lines right up once you get in the right area. So you can see how this particular manufacturer, the drawer, once I push it so far, the hardware actually pulls the drawer closed like that so that it doesn't sit, you know, part way open. Okay, so that's one drawer installed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assemble all the rest of the drawers in exactly the same way. Get them all in this box, and uh, then you can kind of have a look at what the final project looked like. Okay, so we assembled uh, the other four drawers, or sorry, three drawers, and uh, inserted them in the cabinet. Uh, this was the one we started with, and then we've added the two large bottom drawers and the other single over here. And you can notice, uh, if you notice on these taller two, as opposed to the top one, they've got this extra bar on there and that's to support because the top is, or the front is so high. It gives you some adjustment on the top and uh, help support it as well. Because a lot of times your handle is going to be right here. If you had, didn't have these bars on there, it's going to eventually rip the front off. Uh, so again, over here, there's down in here, there's two screws on the side of the drawer and they will give you some adjustment once you've got the cabinet installed to get the fronts all lined up straight and square and, and running properly. And then this company gives you a cover that snaps over that hole after you're done to uh, just kind of cover that up so you don't see it. Nice clean fit, nice drawer, metal sides, metal back, melamine bottom. Nice, nice little system. Okay, so we've got that all done. So. Uh, You've hopefully seen both our videos now, the one on the wall cabinet assembly and the one on the base cabinet assembly. Um, you know, not that difficult, but just a lot more steps involved in this than the one on the wall cabinet, that's for sure, because of all the drawers. If this uh, was another typical cabinet, you might have a single drawer across the top with two doors on the bottom, or you could still have the two drawers with two doors. You know, it just depends on what options you wanted. These cabinets as well uh, still need to be put on a, a, a kick plate or a base to get them up off the floor. This company does have adjustable legs that you can mount on the bottom and help to level it up or you can build a wooden base to set it all on, you know, whichever you want, kind of want to have. Uh, typically from the floor to the top of countertop, uh, at least in America, the standard is usually 36 inches. So you can kind of take that into account, you know, your deduction for your thickness of your countertop from the 36 and the height of this cabinet, which is 30 would give you what you need for a, a base down there. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to wrap up. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always go to our forum at houseimprovements.com. Click the link. Uh, on there, there's also a, a link to go see our other videos, and you can enter our YouTube channel from there, or you can go directly to YouTube and uh, search us out. Um, we've got a, quite a few vid videos up now, and we're getting lots of good comments, so I think they're, they're helpful. If you want to go there and check it out, uh, that'd be great. We'll see you next time.